Hi everyone, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here with a new PB&J card class and this is the second in a series of 11 Share Your Love videos that feature a sketch for each video and I love using sketches because they're a great way for me to use my stash as they provide a home for whatever's in my stash and I like to prep the basic sketch items in advance because that helps me move past any resistance I may have to getting started. So here is today's sketch. This is a really great one. If you have some cute stamps that you just love, maybe you bought them, you love them so much, but you got to find a way to get them onto the card. So here's what I've prepped in advance. I've used our Penny Black die cut chat bubbles and I have gone ahead and pre-cut that. I also have my watercolor paper, Canson 140 pound watercolor paper cut. Now just a reminder, all of the sketches included in the Share Your Love video series, I've put together a an ebook for you with a two page spread for each video so you can reference back to those sketches at any time. So I'll put a link down in the YouTube description box for that if you'd like to check it out and show your support. So I'm going to start here by getting my chat bubbles ready. I have used an anti-static tool onto my um, paper there and I've stamped this using Versamark ink and I'm sprinkling with white embossing powder and then I will heat to set that. I just use a piece of scratch paper there with some double-sided tape on the back, makes it easier to hold that while the heat tool is running. Now I'm going to go ahead and pre-stamp all of my images. These are new hedgy stamps from Penny Black and I'm in love with them. I'm stamping them onto Canson 140 pound watercolor paper cold press using archival watering can ink. It's a really nice dark gray. It's not quite black and I really like the way that it looks with these hedgies. And what I love about these hedgy stamps is they are a great size that they can be the focal point on your card. So now I'm going to paint these using my Secura Koi Field Sketch Box and I also have a couple of Arteza tube watercolors that I have put into that sketch box. I've got my water and my paper towel and my paintbrush handy. Now I will list for you down in the YouTube description box below all of the supplies that I'm using. So paper, paints, all the Penny Black products are listed and linked for you. So everything will be there for you if you want to know what colors or what paintbrush or if you want to reference that again. So I'm going to go ahead and paint in these hedgies. Now I love working sort of assembly line style like this with the sketches. So each sketch I'll prep, you know, three or four cards for each sketch. I can change my focal point image on these so that I don't get bored with the sketch and I really use those items in my stash. So I'm just going in here and painting this hedgy, this uh, Secura Koi Field sketch box is just another option for watercoloring. I really like some of the neutrals that are in it with these hedgies, especially sort of the grays and the brown that is in there. I gotta give him some rosy cheeks but I think these hedgies are so, so cute. And this sketch is really great. Like I said, if you have some cute stamps that you just need to find a way to get them on a card, but you don't want to do maybe like a whole scene that they are standing in, this is a great sketch for doing this. If you aren't into cutesy type images, you could certainly do this with like a floral image down there in the corner. And another little tip I'll give you is to stamp part of the image going off the edge of your card. It just adds a little bit more interest than having it just like perfectly centered on the card. So these are really easy to color in. You don't need to do any kind of fancy shading or anything with them because the, uh, I say this a lot, but the cuteness is in that illustration. So it will look great whether you love to color and do a lot of shading or you just put basically a flat wash of color on it like I am doing today. So I went ahead and dried that before I painted the heart. That way it wouldn't sort of bleed or blend into any wet areas on his body. Sorry about my head peeking through there. <laughs> I get carried away when I'm painting and don't realize sometimes that I've put my head in front of the camera, but at least you can still kind of see what I'm doing. So thank you for your patience with that. So like you can see there, I'm mostly just putting on a nice flat wash of color on there.
Now, any of these card designs and products can be used to send loving wishes to someone any time of the year. So just because it has a heart on it does not mean that it has to be Valentine's Day. They can be sent as encouragement, birthday love, anniversary, wedding, just simple friendship cards or hugs just because or thinking of you. So depending on what colors you use um, or sentiments, they are really versatile products. Now here I've grabbed a Pit Artist pen and I'm just going over the eyes and the nose and the eyebrows there. I find that just that little bit and the mouth really brings the image to life when I have stamped it with a gray ink as opposed to a black. I love the look of the gray for sort of his fur or spines, whatever you call that, but I do like to darken up the um, facial area just a little bit more. I think it brings him to life. But that face is so, so cute. So I went ahead and I just, again, working in that assembly line style, painted all of the ones I had pre-stamped. You can see just some variations on where they are stamped, but most all of them going off the edge of the card at some, at some point or some part on the card. Now here I have our Background Basics stencil set. This is a great way to finish off a card. It comes with lots of different sizes. I'll link it for you down below, but they fit. There's ones for five by seven, also for four and a quarter by five and a half inches like these cards are. You get the interior pieces if you want to use them on mask. It is a really great value. I use it all the time. So if you've been following me here on YouTube, you see me use this a lot, but it is the best way to finish off a card. So I am just using ink blending tool and a foam pad. All the colors will be listed for you down below, starting off of the edge and working my way on. And I am trying to be careful not to go over the top of the hedgy. I've added some fired brick, a little bit of wild honey. If you ever put down a red and it looks too pink to you, add a touch of yellow on top and that will help. Now I've grabbed this heart strings penny black stamp from my stash. I'm inking it with that fired brick ink and I'm just lightly stamping that with the stencil in place. I just missed inking a little part of that there. And I like using this, and you'll see it on the other cards as well. It's just a little something in the background. You could use a floral stamp there, branches, anything that you like, and just do it in that same color that you inked your background. So again, assembly line style. I've went ahead and done that on these, just switching up my colors. Here I used a stencil with a little bit wider frame on the pink one. Here's back to that other size. There again is that wider frame. There's even circular frame you can use with those stencils would look really cute too. Now remember we embossed this. So I waited till I was done with those backgrounds so I could match up the color of the chat bubble to the background. So I'm just inking over the top of that with an ink blending tool and a foam pad. darkening it up, going back and forth till I'm completely happy with the color. I'll buff off the excess from that embossing using just a dry paper towel. And then I can add this onto the card. I'm putting that on with some foam tape so it's popped up just a little bit. And that finishes off the card. And I just think these are so simple to do, but really, really fun and a great way to get those critters that you may have in your stash or that you're thinking of adding to your stash onto a card without having it to be having it be a really um, difficult or long like scene that you have to do. So here is a look at all of the cards that I made. You can see it just following that sketch, but making slight variations. So I didn't get bored and I could use more of the stamps from my stash, changing up the sentiments on there as well. And this is just a reminder that 
Um, this video is part of a series of sketches created to help you bust through your stash. And if you'd like to see how I did all of my pre-preparation and my setup for my stash box and my sketch boxes, it's a really helpful system for getting in there and using what you love and using these sketches. I'm going to link down to that video in the YouTube description box below. I'd love to know which one of these cute hedgies is your favorite. I think my favorite happens to be the two that are together. It's coming up here at the end with the yellow background where he's kind of handing over that heart. I just think that is so, so sweet. But let me know. I read all your comments down below and appreciate each and every one. Have a great day and thanks for watching.